time to paint, and uh, here's the figure and the uh, uh, fishing pole and the extra boot. Now, we will not do the assembling until after it's painted, after everything is painted and uh, it's uh, ready to go. Then that way we're going to, that's when we'll slip the, uh, um, the fishing pole through the hand and then put the string on it and everything like that. So you don't do that until after all the painting is done. I'm outside now, so you might hear some uh, unusual voices, as we might say, so don't worry about that. Okay, first of all, we're going to paint the waders, and I'm going to use a dark, dark green for that. Now I'm outside, so if you hear some birds chirping or something like every once in a while I like to just get outside and do this when I can. It's really been hot down here in Texas. Um, uh, we've been in the uh, our heat index sometimes. I'm, it's earlier in the morning now, but the heat index has been running about uh, sometimes 103, 104 down in our area. So we've had a lot to deal with down here. You can hear the birds. I, I like to get outside, like I say, every once in a while and, and uh, do my work. But uh, it has really been, uh, I know you people up north that are and elsewhere that are looking at this. Maybe you've had a lot of rain. We're, we're, we're kind of going through a drought right now. Texas is um, going through a pretty major drought. We have not had rain. In fact, we're, uh, we're all on a burn ban right now. But, um, see, I'm just, I'm painting that a, uh, it's sort of a, uh, just a, uh, a little bit darker green. It's sort of an outdoor green, as, as they call it. It's, uh, that's what it's called on the um, package, on the tube. An outdoor green. No, we really have been uh, suffering a, uh, a a very severe drought right now. And I'm sure a lot of you in other areas are not experiencing that, but we are right now. Okay, got one unpainted. As you can see, it's the same type of uh, way I do things. I just, I, I take the, uh, I got a letter, a message the other day from a, uh, a young man who uh, said that uh, everything was fine. He would paint his figure, but then he would put it in the uh, antiquing solution and some of it would run. Um, now, I've never experienced that before, uh, and you know what we're talking about, the antiquing solution that I use afterwards, the uh, um, bowl linseed oil along with the uh, mineral spirits, but um, I, I've never experienced that. I've never uh, had a situation, had that where uh, my paint would run. Um, now, there's a possibility, see, that uh, he used he possibly used too thick a paint is what I'm saying is see that's why I suggest that uh, that you uh, uh, mix a lot of people uh, don't uh, are not used to when they paint something they just paint it with thick paint and I think that's what what he ran into uh, his his paint was too thick and whenever he dipped it into the um, bowl of linseed oil it, it kind of came loose a little bit is what it did but that's why, another thing why, uh, as you can see, I simply am constantly using this water, and, 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 and it's like a wash. And, and you have to give yourself a little time to understand it and, and use it, but it's just like a wash. It's not where, 
you do notice I'm not putting the paint directly on the figure. I'm using a wash is what I'm doing. Therefore, it, 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 the, the, the wood shows through. And uh, then when I go to uh, put the bowl in, see it all. So I think what might have happened is that he probably painted his figure too thick. He used too much thick paint. And then when he put the... Uh, um, he put the ball in seat all it uh it sort of it came loose or maybe it wasn't completely dry uh is what happened so I, I don't suggest that you use too thick a paint I mean I know a lot of people do but uh, but you see see how that that came out like that using a very thin layer of paint very thin layer of paint and I always mix my paint with the water like that as I, as I work to get it uh, the way I want it. Because I want the wood to show through. Uh, you know, I, I, if you spend a lot of time on a wood carving, you want, the, you want somebody to know it's a wood carving. You don't want it to be so plastic, you know. And I had that trouble at first. I know that. So I want, want you to understand. I haven't known that all my life. <laughs> but, um, all right. Now, here's the waiters as they're painted. All right. Okay, let me see here. Now, we have the pants here, we have the shirt, and then we have the vest. That's such a way. So, I think I'm going to use a brown for the pants. But I, I've, I've learned from... from Studying in the carvers, and that uh, you you don't want to you don't want too 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 thick of a paint. All right, we're painting the pants now, right? 